Hi guys, I'm just quickly doing this video because I have had a few people um, ask a few times about how I store my um, planner stickers because I posted a few pictures on um, Instagram and, and Facebook and things about how I actually store them which is inside a Filofax Malden, it's an A5 size um, and they are inside little plastic wallets so it is quite stuffed but it works for me because everything is kind of in the same place so what I have in the first zipper pocket here is just a few offcuts um, that I've got from different sticker shops, kind of like as samplers from different orders. Um, and because they're quite small, they just fit in there. Um, the front pocket here, um, I've just got some little bunting samplers and the Game of Thrones countdown stickers, which I really need to start sticking in my planner because it's coming around really quick and I totally forgot about it. Um, and I just have a Erin Condren sticker because I, it's a spare one and I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Um, and then just like a Mother's Day sampler um, in there because they're all just quite little um, and don't really have anywhere else to go. Um, and in this kind of long pocket on the side I have just a few kind of sheets of stickers. And then this is kind of like a, a partially used one so I'll just put it in there until I work out what I want to do with the rest of it. And this is an Erin Condren um, cover that when I tried my uncoiled planner in the Filofax I punched this one because the bindings had been, um, they hadn't been cut right so I had to cut them off anyway. Um, so that just works as a cover. And then what I basically do is try and store them if I can by colour, um, not by shop. Um, I kind of, I don't, I don't really just kind of think oh, all of these are from a particular type of, of shop. So um, this one is a, the Buttons and Birds from Ellie Beth Designs um, and these are Vintage Road Studios. I have tried to colour code them but as you can see uh, they're not always kind of perfect. So these um, are just a really thin kit and I didn't want to put them anywhere else so they've just been kind of popped in the back. Um, more Ellie Beth Designs. This is the mystery kit if you're wondering from uh, the beginning or the end of January. So I haven't used that one yet because I'm waiting until March to use that one. And this was the designer edition, the Dandelion kit, which I think is sold out now. Um, then we've got the April showers. I don't like where I've put that in because to me it's a bit too purple alongside the different colours. Um, I might move it, but I might not. So these are just A5 size plastic wallets. I got these for £20 a pound from the range, but you can get them on Amazon or anywhere else like that. Um, and these are Vintage Rose Studios um, and then another Ellie Beth Designs kit. Um, so I have tried to colour code them as much as I can. Um, I do keep partially used sticker sheets or sets in them as well. Um, and this is what I do when I kind of have some left from a weekly kit. So as you can see I've used quite a lot of them. But then um, I, to make up a bit more space I put the different stickers back on the waxy sheet on the back just so that I can still use them for another like weekly spread and then if I don't have full kits left I try and kind of set them in with the same colour scheme so we've got some of the pink dotty can't remember the name of it from Ellie Beth Designs and the February horizontal kit um, and that was just a, a February kind of kind of kit from Ellie Beth Designs as well this again is another one of those tiny little ones, so I've just tried to put them in with the best colour match that I can. And that's another partially used one from Ellie Beth Designs. This one I'm going to try and use in March, I think, in the horizontal. This is like the autumn glitter kit and the old style planet owls. Um, so I'll just keep flipping through. So I do, like I said, put them in colour if I can, except from that one. Wow, that's really... <laughs> That needs to be moved, that's really out of place. Um, yeah, I'm going to move that one. Um, so we've got kind of blues and then a little bit more green and purple. That's an old Christmas kit from this year. Um, I don't know when I'm going to use it, but I really like the colours in that one. Um, and that's one of my all-time favourite ones um, from Ellie Beth Designs. It's the blush teal and something else purple um, kit. I really really like that so I have got spares which I'll show you what I do with the spares in a second as well and um, purples and this was a kit from Miss Sparkle Plans I think it's called um, and this one was specially done for Plantsterdam which is in May so I've got another kit for that 
Then we've got, I put this one in there even though that's yellow because it's also kind of blue. Um, I'm going to use it soon anyway so it won't stay in there. And then we've got blue, random red. Um, so these are all kind of Tulula Hula kits, two sheets for a kit. Um, and then we've got a little bit of yellow. And there's two in here from the Hummingbird Planner. So there's kind of like a grey and a yellow. And then with a little bit of blue in. They're not all in here. Um, I still have to kind of work out a few different oh, things that I need to unpack. So not all the stickers are in here. But it's just so that you can see how we actually store them. And then we've got like the brighter colours at the end. Um, and then Isabel the Owl. Um, and I've got like kind of metallic-y ones at the end. And then I've got another... Erin Condren, almost like a divider in here um, and what I use that for is to separate all my weekly kits which are at the front from all my functional ones which are at the back so then I've just got, um, I don't know how well organised they are but they've got work stickers and to do in there um, these are the surgery time from Lanou's Pots um, and the reason this looks really different is because I peeled off the white sticker because I had two partially used kits um, so it was just to keep everything together, I peeled off the white one and stuck them all on just to save a bit of space. And then we've got time for study. So I've got everything that I need for work, university um, and things like that right at the front. Um, some anaesthetic machines, um, stethoscopes and things, these were a custom order from Michelle and Patch. And then the student kind of reminder header kit from Ellie Beth Designs. And then the school one. Um, I don't generally use these myself, but um, my husband is a lecturer who teaches in a college, so that's why they're in there. And then I've got a random selection of um, health and fitness ones. So we've got bikes, gym bags, um, little running ones, and um, then weight kind of measurements at the end. A few finance ones. So we've got some piggy banks, the 52 week money challenge. Um, just a plain savings sheet again from Ellie Beth Designs and these are household ones so we've got garden ones from Ellie Beth Designs and then time for green thumb that one's called from Lenny's Pots and then we've got a few household sticker ones so shopping and ironing um, but I got these in the resale I think they're like 80 pence or something I haven't used any of this sheet but I guess I would do at some point popcorn and kind of film so if I ever went out to watch like a film and I don't know things are in there and these are from Violet Le Beau how, I don't know how you say that I'm a huge cheese lover cheese and wine always wins so when I got a few kits from her I saw these ones and thought they were absolutely brilliant so I had to get them and um, then meal plan and a few more just household stickers from the news pots Washing lines, um, I got these in February so I didn't use any of the January ones but I can use them for another time. Um, and so there's a sheet of car ones from In A Nutshell Planning, so car insurance, service due, things like that. Mail stickers, I've got two sheets of these um, which are really handy, handy. And then the rest are just kind of boxes so those are uncut ones I got in a grab bag. Glossy ones and scallop ones. Uh, arrow sheets. And then there's two sheets of the spe Spectrum collection in here, so one's household and then like more event style ones. These are all weekend banners, so there's a few different kind of ones in here, so uh, a few samplers and the Ellie Beth Designs weekend ones. Checklists and the sampler. These I just got, I think, last week, um, and I absolutely love them. I think everything nowadays is either kind of square or those hexagon shape things. I absolutely love the fact that these are um, square. Um, then I've got meal planning stickers, a whole load of monthly colours. I know these are the vertical colours but I'm going to use them in different months in the horizontal. And then I've got remember and to go stickers. Headers from Ellie Beth Designs and a few budget sheets. Um, I got those in a grab bag. Um, and then Again, I think those were a grab bag one with um, boxes in. And then these ones um, were actually sent to me in two different packages um, from a good friend Charlotte. And they, I forget where they came from. I have seen them online before, but they're kind of really cute, like, um, quote style stickers. So generally what I have in here is everything that I could want to kind of 
plan with really it's got all of my wiggly things in the front that and all the um, functional ones at the back so I was trying to streamline everything by kind of putting them all in the file effects and for now it's really working well there are some things that don't fit and um, which is why I've got these two little ones as well I did have about four of these um, and it ended up with so many of them that I just end up putting them all inside the file effects but this one is just a bit of an overspill folder that I just keep in a jar and it's got all the un old kind of Christmas ones it's more like seasonal that I don't have to use all the time so some old Christmas weeks um, kind of wintery themed ones um, more Christmas ones from Ellie Beth Designs as you can see a lot of them that one was used um, so this is like a, just kind of seasonal ones that I don't use all the time um, I got a few of these in a grab bag as well these were the Poppy Week um, which I love and fireworks and um, this was from the New Year's kit <coughs> more wintery style ones and um, those are for the news pots it's kind of like the polar bears and I just love them I think these are really really nice I'm waiting for a snowy week which no doubt we're going to have soon um, these are in here I can't remember why <laughs> I think it's just because it was a partially used kit graduation stickers this is St Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day birthday um, I've got two of these Paris sets because I hope to go to Paris some point this year I haven't booked it yet but I've got two just so I could have enough of the full boxes Valentine's Day um, and then these at the back are spares that I have of full weekly sets so I don't need to keep them in my main kind of Filofax storage because I don't need all of them um, I've got quite a few spare planner owls because I really really like this one blue doodles um, again it's a spare one this I forget the name of it but I have an extra washi kind of sheet because it came in a grab bag um, the dandelion kit and this is the babushka kit I think it is um, I, Ellie Beth really recently changed the way that some of her shop was set up so I grabbed a few of the sets that I like because I know that I'm going to want to use them again um, these are my all time favourite work stickers as you can tell I do have a few of them to store <laughs> because they work perfectly for the way that I set my planner up so I've got spares in there another 52 week money challenge and these are the rest of the kind of custom order that Michelle and Patch did for me um, I've got a few each of kind of the sets so they just stay in there as spares Erin Condren postcards because as part of like the group orders that I do I do kind of get a lot of them um, so these are just a few spares that I don't really know what to do with same with those, those are just like the Erin Condren stickers and these are some washi sheets like kind of big square sticker sheets that I don't know again what to do with so they're in the random spare folder and then I have this tiny little one which is just um, like a little photo book and what I've got in here is the really small ones like the sampler size um, so we've got payday and then these are all again like just little sheets that I don't really go anywhere else so there's just a few bins um, some washing lines um, bills I really like them but the problem is with those is um, they're all in one colour so they, cut, they don't really match takeaway stickers uh, days out so and like suitcases just random ones that I have left from other things that's just a little sampler and uh, more just samplers really just that I don't need to keep anywhere so they're just nice to have on hand um, more samplers that one I really love. I, I want to do a weekly spread with these types of colours in, so I'm going to use that one at some point. I just don't know when. Um, and more samplers. So that's all that's in these ones, really. Um, and then just a spare that's used to sampler. Um, kind of, that's the post boxes from Ellie Beth Designs as well. So that's briefly how I store my stickers. These ones stay in a desk drawer right out of the way. And my file effects. Um, is definitely my go-to where I store them really um, it works for me the rings on a molding are really really big um, I don't have anything in the back pocket but you easily could get something in there um, and you could really bulk up these ones if you really wanted to as well I don't because it's full enough as it is already but I just love the fact that everything's together so to me it works 
I guess it's not for everybody, but I just wanted to show you because there has been a few kind of requests or I've shared the picture a few times. So I thought I'd share it. If you've got any questions or want to know anything else, um, just leave a comment down below, but I'll speak to you soon.